Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about Pegagen AI. This is a new concept that was introduced in Pegagen. Let's get started into the topic. So we have something called as Pegagen AI that has been recently introduced during Pegaworld. And this is of uh, first generative AI for the enterprise. I would be giving you a small synopsis of how this Gen AI works and how it will reduce uh, a developer effort. Suppose now you are going to create a case type in Pega recent versions or until 8.8. Just if you go for create case type, you have to give the name and what is the type of the case type you have to select and everything. Now there is something called as AI suggestions. So it will be giving uh, four options like mortgage, auto loan, personal loan, business loan. And uh, here if uh, you have selected mode cache and you can see here use AI to generate stages and steps. If you select this option and click continue, uh, you can see what are the stages that are getting added. These are all OOTB stages and steps that are getting added. And these are like uh, the suggested uh, field types like there would be some integer values, there would be some text values, there would be some customer record values like date of birth, employment status, base salary and all. So these are all AI suggested fields. Once you click those and click submit, you can see all the stages are created and all the steps are created. This uh, significantly reduces the efforts of development. And uh, even a naive user or even a BA can create a case type. And not only that, you have some uh, pick list like drop down list. So those also you can go here and click on this generate with AI. Uh, it will be giving a populated values of what are the possible values for that respect to uh, field. Suppose this is a loan type field name. So there would be different type of loan types, right? So when, instead of clicking add choice and adding multiple things, if you click on this, you can see the list of values. If you want to customize this, you can click on add choice and give your values. And not only that, once a data type is created, you can see here generate sample data with AI. So in data object, we would be uh, simulating some data, right? So instead of clicking add record every time, if you just click on this generate sample data with AI and give how many records you want and click on submit, it would be automatically creating those number of records over there. And this is localization assistant. You know what is localization. If you are not aware of localization, please check my old videos. I have done two videos on localization on field value and on the operator ID instances. So here you can see, you can select a language and click on this localize with A. It would automatically translate all these base values to the respective localization value. So here also your efforts will be reduced a lot. See here, normally we have to convert these values and we have to import an Excel and we have to do many things. Now with this localize with A, it uh, significantly reduces our efforts. Not only that, we have many options like instant charts and visualizations. And for sending emails of uh, sales, uh, they have given OTB, uh, AI related thing. And uh, in an LP tool also, which is uh, very uh, useful for us, we can train our data sets uh, there itself. And not only that, uh, we can build RPA scripts as well, uh, and we can build strategies as well. So if you see here, configure AI, you can see that strategies also can be built by selecting the tone, whether it's informal, optimistic, confident, encouraging, and appreciative. And if you click on submit, or if you want to use from existing or new, you can give that values as well. Once you submit, a strategy will be created I will be posting uh, a link in the video description. If you want more information about it, uh, you can go through it. This is just a synopsis. Uh, this is not uh, still available with uh, everyone, I believe. Hope you have learned a new concept. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and share, like, comment my videos.